What's going on YouTube? My name is Neeb. Welcome back to Aromatics. Today we're going to be doing some first impressions on Middle Eastern luxury perfumes. This is a house that's based out in Saudi Arabia or KSA, which is short for, short for Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. They've also got a couple of branches in UAE, which is Dubai and Bahrain and Kuwait. So some interesting fragrances and I feel like it's a Pretty appropriate time to talk about it. So we're going to be talking about three different fragrances from the house of Qissa Perfumes. It's spelled with a G just because we don't really have that the same letters. Um, so what we'll do is some first impressions and in between each first impression, I'll address some comments. Let's try and keep the comments as related as possible. And if you have any questions that are unrelated to uh, you know this topic, I just ask that you try and save it for the end of the video. And I'm going to allot about 10 minutes for anything goes style questions. Hope you all had a great day. Today's scent of the day. I don't even remember. Oh, I rocked the Privé Couture. Privé Couture, it's uh, called Elysium. It's an Elysium dupe from a sub-branch of Arva Zafaran. It's around 20, 30 bucks, a small little 30 ml vial. I got it from Oud store. Really not that bad. It only lasts about four hours. I just filmed my weekly rotation video today as well. Had a pretty eventful day. Did some upgrades to the studio. And it pretty much took the entire day of me just OCDing over trying to get that to work. But we've got it to work. So hopefully the production value has increased a little bit here. And uh, yeah, it's good to be here. So that's basically what we're going to do. If you haven't seen Qissa Perfumes, we're going to dive into the brand, what it's like. And it's, I mean, I really don't know what I'm in for. I just remember smelling these about two months ago in a, uh, in a showroom out here in Michigan. So we'll go through it. We'll go through a couple of websites where you can find this. What's going on, Kellen? Good to see you, man. Set of the day, Giorgio Armani. Awesome. Great house. Joel's Matrix. Good to see you, Joel. And Sense of Sense. Always a pleasure to have you here. What did you guys rock today? We've got Hawass. That's good. Good summertime fragrance. What's my favorite perfume brand from the UAE? Honestly, there's just so many that I need to start getting into that I want to hold off on answering that, bud. Um, because it's not going to be a cheapie, that's for sure. If we're talking about favorite, I have to say that as of today, it's going to have to be Arabian Oud. They hold the Guinness World Record for the highest number of luxury perfumes in their collection. If you don't know the, about that, uh, Arabian Oud has an enormous collection, enormous. So good to see you guys. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start off by taking us with you to the website itself. The website itself, it's not really somewhere where you can purchase these fragrances, but rather get an idea or, um, you know, just an impression on their collection. They've got a couple of different collections. They have a luxury collection. A lot of them look like in this style. And I do have one of them. Um, I'm not quite sure where it is, but I have one of them. It's on that top shelf behind me. And it's a collaboration fragrance between this brand, Qissa, and one of the famous sing singers in... Uh, in UAE, this one right here, it's called Awal Hikayetna. So it means our first words. So it's supposed to be like a first impression fragrance. And this is a famous Middle Eastern uh, performer. So this one is a fresh leather fragrance. I actually enjoy it. I enjoy it quite a bit. It's sold out because of the fact that it's just, it, it's a hot seller. It's a hot seller. So the fragrances that we have here today is going to be from this right here. Let's see, La Luna. It's going to be a part of the Valley set. So there are sets that you can find here in the States. Uh, we'll take a look together. I'm not sure exactly where you can find them, but I believe Oud Store might have it. But as you can see, the collection consists of three different fragrances. You're going to have, okay, no, we're not. You're going to have La Luna. You're going to have Hudson, Hudson, which is also known as Hudson Valley. It's just short here because it's a so small. And then there's Imperial. So, yes. So the first one that's listed here is called Hudson Valley. So let's go ahead and spray on Hudson Valley first, and then we can get into the other ones. If I'm not mistaken, this is the one that I have a full bottle in as well. You guys, these are no joke. I believe this is a 200 ml, but in the Valley set, you're going to get the small ones. So I grabbed both of them to be able to show the differences between the OG size and the, uh, the travel size. And there also is a difference in the size of the atomizers, but regardless, the atomizer sizes on these is crazy. So there's that one. And then the 200 ml, I mean, this thing is just a nuke. It's not even an atomizer. This is stained. Oh, it is what it is. All right. Some notes on this fragrance include black currant saffron, rose, patchouli, and amber. 
So I'm assuming this is going to be an amber patchouli rose based. Fra well, not assuming it is. <laughs> it is kind of want to not spray this since the large one's already stained on the atomizer. I might as well go ahead and spray that. And what I'm going to do for these is spray them on skin since it is a late night stream. We're going to go ahead and just spray it on skin. So nothing on the hand. Here we go. Kali, this atomizer is no joke. Look at this, guys. Holy, what in the fuck? You guys, hold up. Hold up. Whoa. Chanel who? <laughs> Holy smokes. Yo, this is strong. <laughs> so this is, <clears throat> this is strong, strong stuff. Holy smokes. The opening, I don't really care for too much, but it's literally that. It's saffron and bergamot, or not bergamot, black currant. The amber and patchouli right off the top and rose. You're literally getting exactly what these notes state you're going to get. Uh, as of right now, saffron, black currant, a little bit of sour black currant. You get some of this. Uh, if I had to classify the color of rose, I would definitely say like a hot pink rose. It's very... It's slightly feminine, but it's still a unisex fragrance. Uh, I think what saves it here is there is a decent dose of patchouli, giving it a masculine edge because of its earthiness. And the saffron is not too spicy, not too metallic. This is a more natural take on, on saffron, which is a good thing. Not bad. This kind of reminds me of rose oud saffron combinations without the oud and not as sharp. That's really what it's reminding me of. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoy uh, saffron rose combinations with the oud, take out the oud, put patchouli and amber in there instead. Very nice. Very, very nice. Very Middle Eastern. Very Middle Eastern. I mean, when you smell this, it just doesn't smell like Western anything. I will say that this is not a blind, uh, safe blind buy whatsoever. Hudson. Hudson's okay. Hudson's okay. If I had to rate this one, I'll give it about a 7.25. 7.25. I'm just glad I was able to spray it finally. But it looked like it was already, honestly. God knows who, who messed with my whatever. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. I think as it dries down, this will get even better. Not bad. 7.25 of an opening. Really not bad. Set of the day, Hawaii Volcano. Awesome. Yeah, that atomizer is no joke. If you guys are just tuning in, this is a 200 ml. Look at this. Holy smokes. That hit, that hit my freaking lighting. It's crazy. All right. 7.25. It is getting a little bit warmer, more patchouli. Holy smokes. Nuclear. Cheers. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Like Jeremy Fragrance would say, pressurize. Wait, who? Jeremy Fragrance doesn't say pressurize, I don't think. Set of the day on some gold. Good stuff. All right, next fragrance we're going to dive into is Imperial. I don't want to go into La Luna yet. So La Luna is actually the newest one in their collection, and they don't have a 200 ml of it yet. They do have Imperial, but I'm not sure if I'm, I enjoy this or not. I think I'm going to, honestly, because there's some, it looks like my favorite combination, really. We have some aromatic Devana, which is like a, a G, you know, a species of tea. Pink pepper. You all know I love my pink pepper. We've got Oud. I don't know how I feel about rosemary. I'm not crazy about the whole minty, cooling, refreshing vibe. The Oud, musk leather. I think I'm going to like this one a lot. So let's see. Let's see. So this is going to be the small one. So let's see the atomizer on the small ones. Oh my God, dude, like chill out. My arm is wet. My arm is wet. That's crazy. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, much better. This is nice. This is nice. Super aromatic, super aromatic, dry pink pepper. Oh yeah. I like this one a lot. What a shame. I'm disappointed that I got the full bottle of this one instead of the really nice, really freaking nice. I do get a Oud here. 
I do get a oud. It's not too animalic. It's it kind of uh, teeter tots in between a clean oud and animalic. Ooh, this is nice. This is nice. Unisex as well. Slightly masculine. The spices and aromatics. I get leather too right away. This is very nice. I enjoy this one. If I had to rate this one, I want to give it a nine. But something in, in me tells me 8.75. I want to give it an 8.75. It's really good. And it's better than Hudson Valley. But it's just, Hudson Valley is pretty simple. It's pretty simple. Yeah, see, at this point, it's literally just Amber and Rose. Um, Hudson Valley. It's not bad. It's one of the better Rose fragrances I've smelled. Much better than most, honestly. It's Amber, super dense amount of Amber and Rose. There's patchouli there, but it's nothing crazy. And it's not too much of an old granny or feminine Rose. Honestly, it's not. It's good. I would still give it its score. Seven and a half, maybe, right? And then Imperial Valley, 8.75, borderline nine, borderline. If it just had something, I don't know. I'm getting mostly leather. This is a leather oud musk, Davana and pepper. So good. Very good. All right. Very different. Very different. I don't, I don't think any of these are going to be blind by safe. I really don't. But unfortunately... We really don't have ways of sampling this. And if you find a way to sample it, then more power to you for real. But I think the best route would be to get the Valley set, which is the three, if you're interested in, in jumping into this house, because you get to sample all three. And really, none of it is that bad. It's really not bad. Like the Rose one, it's still a good fragrance and it's pretty loud. Oh, yeah, Imperial. I like it. I like it. It's not like love. That's why it's an 8.75. La Luna. Let's move on to, before we move on, let's let's check out some of the chat. You need coffee after all these sprays. Yeah, man. Honestly, I'm pretty, I'm pretty used to it now. Coconut daiquiri, you, sir, smell amazing. Check out coconut daiquiri. Well, you can't because it's out of stock, y'all. But if you don't know, that's my fragrance that I uh, worked on with Sphinx. We dropped that about a couple weeks ago. Sold out and should be restocking very soon. Lydia, good to see you again. Good to see you on your TV right now. I hope that the quality is better than earlier because I, I made a huge upgrade today. Or wait, no. Than yesterday. Whatever. Good to see you. <laughs> sense of sense. Good company. Very good company in the chats. Joel, good to see you as well, man. I didn't see you this morning. All right, let's move on to La Luna Valley. This one, I think, is going to be amazing. Reason, incense, cotton candy, sandalwood, raspberry. I mean, come on, y'all. Look at these damn notes. Where do you... Oh, wait, you can't see them. Huh? Look at these damn notes, you guys. Where do you see this? Amber, tonka, patchouli, gayak wood with palo santo, sandalwood, and cotton candy, incense, raspberry, and apricot? Are you kidding me? This sounds like heaven. Let's go. It's a damn shame that they don't have this in the full size yet. So let's see. That's what the bottle looks like. La Luna. All right. Here we go. I've never sprayed these, but they're spraying almost immediately. So let's see. Is this one going to do the same? And you can tell, look, the atomizer is not wet or anything. Like it's still a dry atomizer. But let's see together. Yep. Right away. Sheesh. I'm getting something already. Oh, my Lord. This is a fucking 10. Incense, some juicy ass apricot. Rude. I'm getting some rude, y'all. I'm getting some rude. Or it might just be the dry woods. It might just be the dry woods. That opening was nice. Was very nice. Delicious. There is a similar funk in between all three of them. There is. And I'm not sure if it's maybe a fixative that they use amongst the entire brand. 
but it's there. It's in all of them. It's got to be a fixative. It's either the fixative or the quality or the whatever uh, alcohol that they use amongst their, their entire lineup. So just similar to like Parfums de Marley and Inicio, you're going to get a funk. It's usually either the fixative, which is just a proprietary blend of whatever they use. It could be like ISO E Super, Hedion, or Ambergris or Ambroxan. Um, or it could be just the type of alcohol or where they get their alcohol from. This one, back to La Luna. My favorite of them all. The opening was gorgeous, but my favorite of them all, but it's it's good. It's getting a little bit, it kind of already dropped off the jammy fruit because it was great. The jammy fruit was quick to go away. Now I'm getting incense and Palo Santo and sandalwood, which is still pretty good. So think of the Palo Santo, the uh it's like a, a light. Uh, how can I explain it? It's just dry wood with it, that you're burning. Cotton candy, mm. more so in the opening. I'm not getting like a distinctive. I smell cotton candy. Sugar, I'm getting like sugar in the opening. I got like this juicy apricot and raspberry cotton candy. I did. And the incense was extremely loud from the beginning. It just smelled like a gourmand that Middle Eastern would make. Uh, it smelled like Middle Eastern dessert, really, but it was really short-lived. And now I'm more so focusing on sandalwood and the gayak wood and the incense. So we kind of started with like the entire top plus cotton candy. And now it's quickly just resulted in the incense and the sandalwood and gayak wood. So right now I'm facing that. See how... Why is it not allowing me? Yeah. So incense, sandalwood, and equid is where we're at. I'm getting some amber as well. So now we're starting to creep into amber wood territory. These are drying down pretty quick. Pretty quick. But if I'm being honest, I think it's because, well, most Middle Eastern houses, they have dense, dense oils. So usually those tops, I mean, they just fly right off and you're getting whatever's in the base and heart usually, usually. Danielle Hammond in the house. What's going on, girl? Hope you're doing well. So Lydia says she's actually trying to get her hands at a de of a decant at minimum of daiquiri. I had a no idea. Uh, it was a collab of yours. Neba. I just bought the Horshada one like a week and a half ago. I swear, Lydia, if I still had those 10 mLs, I'd offer to send you one. But I'm like, I love giving. I love it. But this last week, I just told like seven people, I'm going to send you one. I'm going to say <laughs> expecting nothing in return. But I, I gave them all away. I'm sorry, Lydia. But hopefully it will be back in stock soon. So I have to mention that as I was wafting like that, I did kind of smell a cotton candy accord. And I thought to myself, like, I smell sugar. Incense and sugar. Pretty interesting. It has a bahur vibe. So it has like a sugared oud chip vibe to this fragrance with some fruits and amber and tonka so most bahur vibe fragrances in my experience has usually gone a bit feminine it's like uh sharp uh, slightly metallic playful bright this one is not like that it's a bahur vibe that's sugared that's denser instead of just cheap bahur this smells like excuse me this smells like dense rude chip bahur real bahur it smells pretty good this smells pretty good. It smells like sugared oud with amber and patchouli. This is a good one. I'm going to give this one a nine. I'm going to give this one a nine um, in respect to what it's doing. Middle Eastern fragrance so far. These all have a distinctive funk. They absolutely do. And I find that if you don't like one of these, you won't like none of these. Really. I really think that if you don't like one, you won't like them all because of that same line throughout the entire house for now so let's take a little break from this talk and let's connect a little bit and then i'll come back to maybe some of the mids or dry downs that we sprayed on hand so let's check it out paul robertson good to see you bro it's been a while uh have i tried it at all yes i have tried it it's an average performing version of grand soir that's all i have to say about it man it's not that bad but it's not the best in terms of performance for me personally i got a little bit more out of it than eternal oud from latafa but that's about it for that one. Not a bad fragrance. Quality is great, by the way. For Sphinx, 
I, I have to agree. I really enjoy a lot of their fragrances. I was at Joel Sucker for Coconut. Um, oh, you're talking about the Curaco Bay. Curaco Bay. So what's up? Yeah, go ahead with your bad self. What's happening, Ross? Hope you're doing well, bro. Hope you're doing well. I appreciate you stopping by. Yeah, we did. Uh, what did we do earlier, y'all? We did Mancera. And believe it or not, you guys, I was love JF Critical Boy. I was about to do another or the second part of the Montal unboxing that I wanted to do, which was Choco Violets and Tonka Cola. But we'll save that for, I don't know if I'm going to go live tomorrow, y'all. I really don't think so. I need a break. I need a break. I need a freaking break. No worries, sweet of you. I appreciate it. Looking forward to trying. Yeah, I appreciated that. I really, Ross, Ross over at TLTG Reviews, y'all. Check him out. A uh, good friend of mine. I can't wait for my Joel. I watched that video, man. That, that had me cracking up. I did a reaction to it, too on yesterday's live i believe it was pretty funny it's pretty funny yeah at some point here at uae you'll smell imperial everywhere yeah man everybody's about these Lissa perfumes out there hudson valley is okay but imperial is better imperial is definitely better but dude la luna is the best oh wow much more patchouli now it's incense patchouli cotton candy i get more cotton candy now Incense, patchouli, cotton candy, amber. This is nice. This is really nice. Very, very nice. What did sense is sense? I'll DM you, Lydia. That's what's up. Tonka Cola for the win. Yeah, you enjoyed that one, eh? You know, Ross, I want to get the one from Paris Corner. And uh, the cherry cola. I want to compare it, dude. That one's going to be awesome. I feel like Neeb is a roommate at times with all of his lives that he does. I'm the annoying roommate that doesn't go to sleep. <laughs> Definitely don't. A little bit late to the party, but scent of the day is still Oud Lemon Mint. Still? That's what's up. One spray or did you respray? Uh, cotton candy note sounds incredible. It does. It smells incredible too. It honestly, it really does smell nice. Cotton candy, patchouli, amber, incense. They already duped it. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Cherry Cola by Emir. It looks just like the Cedrat Boise. Speaking of, I tried the Cedrat Boise Intense for the first time today. Um, surprisingly, very close to the uh, Cedrat Boise. Very, very close. Just denser. Terry in the house. What's happening, baby? Roommate got the house smelling very legit. Hell yeah, dude, bro. No sissy spraying here. Seven sprays on a Mancera. Weak sauce. Get out of here, boy. Take some lessons from my other video. No, just <laughs> Seven sprays on a Mancera is some pretty heavy stuff, dude. Pretty heavy stuff. I agree, man. Me too. Cherry Cola is my next. It's going to be a part of my next little batch. Definitely going to be. So let's revisit these a little bit. I want to show you guys the notes again when we talk about them. So final verdict on Hudson Hudson Valley, this Gigantosaurus Rex. And I'm going to tell you guys what, there's a reason why I did this. Because I wanted to uh, promote or at least decant some of this in my Patreon boxes. So I get a lot of these in doubles because of those. So 5ml decants, 2ml, 3ml, really anything goes in those uh, raffle boxes that I do. So... Still a lot of rose, a lot of rose, patchouli, and amber. This is a patchouli rose amber bomb with a backdrop of saffron. Pretty simple, just as simple as the notes claim them to be. That's it, really. Nothing outstanding, pretty different, done in a Middle Eastern way. There is a funk, funky undertone under this. Not in a bad way, but something that, you know what it is? I think I'm getting a lot of the sourness of the black currant. So it's not really my, like, whoa. Honestly, for me, I'd have to probably drop this down to back to a 7, maybe a 7.25. I do feel like this is an aged rose. I feel like this is a rose that an older uh, woman would wear. Not an old lady. Well, lady and a woman, right? <clears throat> but not my grandma. I feel like this is something my mother would enjoy. And I don't say that. And my mom's not that old. She's like in her 50s. 
Um, so yeah, it smells nice. Just a bit dated of a DNA. That's what I think about Hudson Valley. Still smells nice. La Luna. No, let's go to the next one that we sprayed. This. I mean, the, the no breakdown speaks for itself. The Devana pink pepper, rosemary, oud, and leather and musk with the vetiver. Let's see. Oh. This is nice, man. Very nice. Very nice. I'm getting something even spicier now. The rosemary is intensified greatly. It's a bit of a spicy rosemary. That's not really common. I usually get just a cooling, clean rosemary. This is more of like an, uh, a dirtier. I think it's a combination with the vetiver. So the vetiver and the rosemary are kind of like mingling here. It absolutely has a cooling effect. You're going to get the oud. You know what? The rosemary and vetiver together give me the impression of, the feeling of saffron. This is an interesting way that they try to, uh, and the leather. So if you look at saffron, the note of saffron, it's like it has leathery traits. So uh, saffron has leathery traits, can sometimes be spicy, slightly metallic. So this is an interesting one that they're using. The rosemary, which is cooling, kind of gives you that refreshing sharpness, not all the way sharp. And the leather here gives you the same qualities of like the skin or the the uh, the uh, texture of the petal or whatever you would call it. And the vetiver is kind of giving it more of an ethereal take to it. So yeah, I think that this is an attempt at recreating a saffron nuance in a different direction. So pretty different, but similar. Because when I when I sniff this, I think oud saffron and leather. But then I get something spicy and cooling, and I'm like, wait, there's no saffron. What's giving me that spicy cooling? The rosemary. But then it's also ethereal. It's pretty interesting. This is a pretty interesting one. I like this one. But if I had to rate it, 7.75 is an accurate rating for this one. 7.75 is where I'm going to place this one. Honestly, as it dried down, it got a little bit less uh, interesting because of the fact that it's now reminding me of the standard saffron oud and uh musk or leather fragrance so 7.75 and 7.5 la luna let's check out la luna so this one i think is going to take the cake but let's see Ooh, much more earthy patchouli this is a dirty patchouli and i like that i really like that i can almost sense like dry uh, f uh, dry soil that's really just coated on this patchouli leaf with almost like the embers. You're lighting it on fire and there's the embers. It's coming from the amber. There's an ember under this soil. Um, I don't want to say coated. It's just soil dusted patchouli leaf that you're lighting up with some sugar. Sugar on top of this patchouli leaf. There's the embers giving you that amber. Yeah, that's really what it is. So amber woods and patchouli and incense is still what I'm getting with cotton candy. Very nice. This is the one for me. This is the one for me. I would have to say this is the 875, if not a 9. And that's exactly what it is. It's woody, ambery, oriental. I would classify this as like a incense, patchouli, ambery, oriental. That's what I would call it personally. Very nice. La Luna is the one. It's definitely the one. And if I could get a, a full bottle, if they do release it, I will get a full bottle. And I'll probably start splitting those in as well. That's what I think about these fragrances, man. Pretty good. Pretty damn good. Cotton candy sounds incredible. Absolutely. No CC spraying. What's going on, good sir? Joel, good sir, Joel. Yes, he is. Prison Blue by Idio Par Perfumers. Interesting. I've never heard of that one. Memphis fragrances. Good to see you, man. I appreciate you, Ross. Thanks for stopping by and you have a fantastic evening, sir. Working hard, buying too much fragrances, relaxing <laughs> during my weekends and repeat. You know, it could be a lot worse. It could be alcohol. It could be uh, cigarettes. It could be something else. So everybody has a vice. We all just try to get through life. With our hobbies, you know, there should be limits and standards, but it is what it is. Live it up, Joel. That's what's up. That's what I think. I bought k Classic. You're going to be, you're going to be happy with it. If you're looking, if you like DHI, did you get it yet? 
So here was that. Here's what I was thinking. Lately, I've been getting a lot of questions in regards to what's your fragrance collection like? How many fragrances do you have? Blah, blah, blah. So I have a members thing on my YouTube. Okay. As of right now, there aren't many perks to it, but I have a couple of supporters that are on there and I love and respect all of you that support and don't support. It's okay. But for those of you that do support, there's a special love for you guys. And what I want to do is I want to answer that question in a form of a video that's only available to members. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show them my collection. I have over 1,100 fragrances. Yeah, yeah. And about 80, 80 of them might still be boxed. So what I want to do is film a video. <laughs> I have to preface and let you guys know that um, I'm going to make it very clear that this is coming, showing, A, I want to show you guys how serious I take this this as a as a hobby as a commitment and b i am doing this for the sole review or sole purpose of reviewing okay i'm committed to this i am very committed this is what i live breathe eat talk s word eat er, and sleep okay so i love this this is my art this is my craft this is what i've been doing for a long time uh perfumery messing around with it and the fact that i can turn it into this is a blessing so I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to record it and make it members only. I think that'll be an interesting video to get into. So if you guys are interested, check it out. And that'll probably come within the next week or two. We'll see. We'll see. If people, if people are interesting, if, they, if there's enough interest, I'll do it. So it's roughly 1,100, maybe a little bit more, maybe like 1,200. I lost count. I'm just being honest. <clears throat> Have I tried Capri? I have Capri and I have Sava and I have all of the new ones too. Uh, Samaria, Samaria, I have them all. Welcome to the channel. I have this is the first time I see you, by the way, but I have them all and we're going to review them. Uh, I'll bring them in as well. This it will be. The, let's see. Let's see what's on the next uh, to do really quick. One second. Oh, shoot. Well, good news. And bad news. Bad news for me is that I bought, I already have Imperial Valley in the large size. Good news for you guys that join that Patreon. I'm going to decamp these bad boys into those raffle boxes. Um, also, I've got, so here you go. Here's to answer your question. We've got Capri. We've got their new releases. All, these are all new releases. Sava. And I got these straight from Kuwait, if I'm not mistaken. And I've got Calabria. So inshallah, aka God willing, the next video I do will be on these three first impressions. And then based off of what we're sniffing here today, I'm going to be real with you guys. I think that I'm probably just going to do one video review for all three of them. Just because Hudson, meh, I don't really, it is what it is. Imperial smells good. It's not going to be for everybody. And La Luna is really the sore thumb that's just like, hell yeah. So you can expect to see a trifecta review for all three of these just done in one video. Ruben, you're the best, dude. <laughs> I did. I have already created my own fragrance through Sphinx Fragrances. This fragrance is more of like a, a vibe, right? It's a summertime fragrance. It's centered around coconut. doesn't smell like suntan lotion. Lemon, lime, sugar, coconut, and booze with musk. That will be insane. Yeah, I think it will be pretty insane. I think it will be. Seeing it. I don't rival him. I look at everybody in this. Kai, I haven't seen you in a while, Kai. I haven't seen you in a while. But no, I, I, I'd like to think of people in the same space as... Uh, what are they called? God, I forgot what it's called. Whatever. Associ not associate. Uh, you know. People that I work with. He's somebody I work with. That's how I like to see it. Because at the end of the day, we all clock in and clock out to this thing we call YouTube, basically. Slurp slapping over there. Salam, please review new Musk edition from Qissa. Would love to know what you think about them. Inshallah, will do. I didn't know that that was even available, but I will reach out to my contact and have them ship it over. Inshallah. And happy Eid to all of you. What up, Nelson? I haven't seen you in a while, bro. 
what situations would you wear psychedelic love? Jaden, I just bought psychedelic love today because of it being uh, possibly reformulated soon. Who knows? Because of it selling out. Let me not spread false rumors. Um, and personally, that's I didn't buy it for the longest time because of that exact reason. It's just date night type of fragrance, man. It's when you want to like uh, just be sexy, really, dude. So 24-7 for me. <laughs> Whenever you are going to go on like a date, you're going to go out to impress. Uh, you want to be a little seductive, those kinds of vibes. So vibes where you would squint your eyes, basically. <laughs> like that one movie. What is it called? I forget. Um, I live in Kuwait. I mix La Luna, Hudson, and Imperial. Ooh, you know, that's a good suggestion because Hudson Valley, I feel like as a standalone is not going to be the best. I feel like this layered will be better because it's just so straight up rose and uh, what is it? Rose and patchouli. So that mixed with this will probably be very nice. But La Luna, La Luna is, yeah, La Luna is really nice. Holy smokes, Nini. You're like, you're smelling strong. <laughs> I enjoy watching your bin channel. I love that you are non judgmental and supportive of others. That's what it's got to be. It's got to all be love, right? That's how I function. It's how the world would be a better place if we all did that, honestly. But I appreciate you going back. Hopefully not too far back. But if you did, good for you. Colleagues, there you go, Nelson. Look, it's midnight. And I had a nine-hour crash course on DSLR. My specific like DSLR like settings. And oh, my Lord, you guys. Yikes. Neve, that big crystal jar behind you. Is that all oil? That one right there is a flacon. Yeah, no, it's not, bro. It's uh, apple cider. Apple cider, non-alcoholic, of course. That's just for decoration purposes. And I put the, uh, the the bottle cap of it right there, so it kind of reflects with the with the lights. I'm all about decorating and stuff like that. I love it. If you look behind, I'm so OCD, y'all. Some of them I shift. They're all placed for a reason somewhere there. <laughs> It's funny because I read this guy's name right here. Yeah, I'm loco, sicko. That's me, man. When it comes to like OCD and stuff, it's crazy. Amir, fire your desire. Fire your desire all day. Fire your desire. But it doesn't last that long though, bro. It's like five, six hours. But if I had to pick, fire your desire. For better projection, would you, would you get more spraying the neck multiple times or spreading it out? I would say spreading it out, dude. Definitely spreading it out. And don't neglect the clothing. There is one, Nelson, but I haven't tested it out yet. It's called Illusion. It's from Paris Corner or Pandera Sense. Check it out on Aroma Concepts. You don't have to buy it there, but check it out there. It's called Illusion something. People living in Canada but order fragrances in Canada. It's, oh, no way. You are the freaking man, Joel. Love you, dude. Kai Trimble with the generous super chat. God bless you, brother. You help make this happen. With your support, this channel keeps on grinding, baby. I finally bought DHI. I know I'm super late to the party. Never too late to the party. Uh, it's an essential. It absolutely is. Now I know why it's an essential. Dude, if you haven't gotten your own Parfum, wait till you get that one. That is my all-time, all-time. All right. Happy Eid, Neeb. The psychedelic love lean masculine. Um, it does. It does a little bit. I'm not going to lie. That one has a bit more. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I got a little bit sidetracked uh, seeing if that there's like a little bit of a delay to the audio here. But that's my OCD talking. Anyways, let's go back. Uh, <laughs> it does lean slightly masculine. Uh, I used to have my samples here, but I put them away. It does lean a little bit masculine. Uh, Bedina, the best thing I can tell you is go sample it. Don't drop the money blindly. Go sample it at Neiman's. If you don't live in the States, um, I would sample it first, honestly. It's a lot of money to drop on something you you don't know. Um, and I used to be all for it. Blind buy, but not anymore, man. You, you live and learn. You tried extra woods. I have not tried that one, bro. Sorry, man. I know you wanted to know, but. I haven't tried it. The Wataniya Kenz El Melik seems to be a Dylan Blue clone. I haven't seen that one. Let's check it out really quick. Kenz 
al Melek. And you know what else we need to do? We still need to see where we can find some of these fragrances for you guys. Interesting. Kenz al Melek. This looks just like the bottle of that Latafa that I have. Very interesting. I'll have to look into this one. Not that I know of. Ramas Ramas Ramasat? I don't know exactly. Yeah, DHI is pretty unisex. I think a lot of women can get away with that. Gonna try DHI with Anna Abiyal Dharuj. Interesting. Ooh. Baccarat vibes, right? With DHI. I got OCD too. We're all OCD in this space. If you're in this space, you're OCD, dude. Um... Season and then strength. Holy smokes. That's crazy. Good for you, man. And far amber, the Orient and Lure smell exactly like interesting. For those who know these fragrances, I'm sure they'll get some value from that. Thank you for sharing. Now let's go and look for these fragrances together. Oh, there is a site that has it that I have uh, an affiliation with. But let's see together first. Um, eBay, eBay. Forget eBay. Like this guy right here. Let me not talk bad. I don't want to keep talking bad. But I would never do business with this ever again with this seller right here. Me personally. If you have and if you do, good for you. More power to you. Um. Okay. So this is somebody that I have an affiliation with. This is somebody that can I test I can attest for if that means anything to you guys. Um, and this is somebody that's offering us a discount code as well. This owner, he lives in Michigan. He lives in Michigan, so he's a local shop to me. And I discovered him not long ago. I discovered him before he became the uh what is it called? The sole distributor or the rights holder for this fragrance brand, Cedra. Believe it or not, you guys, bef come on, man. Before I met him, he did not have the rights to this house. After about three weeks, he was like, oh, dude, I didn't, uh, I just became the sole distributor or have the rights to the distribution of Cedra perfumes. And so I was like, okay, what do you mean? He's like, so basically he is the distributor. Anybody that wants to buy these fragrances has to buy them through him. And Cedro Perfumes, I did cover a couple of them, and I will be covering all of them. They're pretty good. And his prices are matched, at least for this brand, are matched to exactly what they sell them for in Saudi and in Kuwait. So this is a good fragrance brand. Another one. So let's see what he's selling Gissa for. So this website is called oudwoodperfumes.com. Or the double dots, it is what it is. And here we go. So about 160 for 200 mLs. That's insane. So the tri pack is sold out. Mm, sold out. He's sold out of a lot of things, really. But we have a 5% off coupon code. Not too much, but you're not going to find it for cheaper than that. Let's see what it's going for at the actual website itself. Is he even marking it up? what the markup might be if there is one this will tell us alexa what is 23 kuwaiti dinar to us dollars wow ouch you guys there's a hefty hefty markup so these are 74 dollars 74 us dollars so I guess it's marked up for that reason. And I'm going to tell you guys, I bought them for that much. God, I feel like I got got. <laughs> but it's 200 mLs. I mean, God, ow. It is what it is. So a buck 60, 5% off of that. That's what it is. That's what it is in the States. So if you don't want to grab it in the States, that's fine. But I know there's a lot of brothers and sisters in the East that could benefit from this review. Hardly anyone ever reviews these fragrances. So this is a review for either purpose. But if you got it and you think it's, I personally, I think it's worth it, y'all. 
like 200 mls for a buck 60 it's not bad it wouldn't hurt for them to lower their prices but it's really not cheap to import perfumes across seas it's really not cheap per piece if you have like a contract through a company per piece they'll charge you 25 and that you have a contract with them and you're you're guaranteeing a minimum of a certain shipment so that's 75 that's another 25 bucks that's a hundred bucks. If you have a contract with them, if you don't, it can go anywhere from $50 a piece or $30 to 55 a piece. So it is what it is. It's up to you. I appreciate you, Sour Kingdom. Appreciate you. Thank you. David, what's happening, man? Good to see you. Doing it. Doing it and doing it and doing it well. Ah, I set off your Alexa. <laughs> I should start doing that more often. Wake up your whole house, dude. It's hilarious. Oh, this is an interesting question. Uh, I just made the full review for this one. And I talked, I spoke on it. And you're going to be seeing it in my weekly rotation video on Monday, which is when I post them. So by the way, guys, if you're ever interested in fragrances that uh, I present as a first impression and you want an update, stay uh, in tune to Mondays. Mondays, I drop my fragrance weekly rotation. And I basically give you guys like a, a snippet of the review, what's to come. If I wore it, I'm going to give you a compacted version of the review, basically. So I gave a compact little descriptor of this fragrance right here. But since you're asking on it, obviously, I'll provide the information. But if you're interested, that's a good way. So this is the one. It's called... I got six to seven hours out of it, man. This is called Portofino Noir by Riffs. Riffs redeemed themselves with this one, y'all. They definitely redeemed themselves because I had, but if you're going to spray this on, man, I sprayed it on 14 times. Yes, because Dolce & Gabbana, the one itself is not that strong. So I sprayed it on 14 times on Eid, which is our celebration. So. Made it to the late night stream. What's up, Caden? Good to see you, bro. Uh, Saturday they wanted by night. You smelled amazing. I'm, dude, that one's got me so many, so much attention from women. Wanted by night. Something about that, those contrasts. There's like five different contrasts with that fragrance. I think that that one is really interesting. It goes fruity slash sour, uh, sweet, spicy, incensey, and earthy. Like it's like five bold contrasting uh, accords. It's a very interesting fragrance in that respect. Pretty challenging for the average nose. In my opinion, for them to release that as a, as a designer is pretty testy. And for me, I really didn't enjoy it. I first what the hell is this? But women just loved it. I'd sniff it. I'd sniff it. Get a little bit more developed, a little bit more developed. That's one I, I really enjoyed. Thank you, edited. Torino 21, that's what's up. Yeah, I got that from your unboxing. Yeah, it was pretty good, man. And I wore it. I wore it uh, Eid Day. What was that? Two days ago or yesterday? I'm not sure. Uh, two days ago. Yesterday, I wore sent, uh, Spice Bomb Night Vision EDT. Big disappointment. Big disappointment. Three and a half hours, dude. Three and a half hours and it was gone. I did find that one similar to Wanted by Night. It's like the Spice Bomb's take on it or the other way around. But it's not as interesting as Wanted by Night. I think it sold out. No way, bro. Let's double check. Portofino Noir Riffs. Oh, no, no, no. They have it on Fragrance X, but you can get it for the cheapest. I'm not telling people where to get it from. I keep forgetting. That's because I don't care. But here, let me show you. I don't care about like, because I am affiliated. I don't care about the profit part. I mean, it, it, it helps support the channel, but I just don't like. But it's off of the website. Profino. Really? Yeah, dude, you can get it from Fragrance X. I don't have a coupon code for it. Let me show you. So here you go, bro. A couple of places you can get it from. A little bit more expensive than you would have been able to get it th through me. Uh, through me, it's $29.99 plus 17% off. But if it's out of stock, it's out of stock. And it's not even on those site. So go for it. Fragrance X is not bad. 33, it's worth it, in my opinion. I wouldn't pay more than $35, $40 for this. I wouldn't pay more than 40 bucks. Max. Max.
I agree. It took me a few years to actually start liking it. Same. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Pretty different, man. Pretty different. Want to buy night? You're most complimented by Azaro. I think so. I honestly think so. Yeah. Portofino unisex at all. Lydia, if you enjoy darker, bolder, spicier fragrances, yeah, it's mostly cardamom, amber, tobacco. So if you can pull off tobacco fragrances, I would say yes. So. Good evening to you as well. Breast, breast, best brand perfume in the building. What's up, Uncle Chris? Good to see you. You know what? Let's check out his website. Maybe he has it. Let's see if you have it. And we have a coupon code, so maybe you can get it for cheaper from him. Who knows? Let's find out. Best brand perfume. Best brands perfume.com. So this is his website. Let's see. Porto Fino. Oh, no products found. No big deal. But I will tell you a fragrance that I'm absolutely in love with. My number one from Armoff right now. I haven't done a full review on yet. This thing right here. Holy smokes, you guys. This thing is eight plus hours easily. Smells like a cherry hard candy so sexy with ambers love it Guerlain Lom Ideal Extreme that's what this is so damn good check it out what's my thoughts on MFK Paris perfume brand sorry old old news French it's pretty French they did some good fragrances don't get it twisted I mean I definitely think that Baccarat Rouge is nice, but everybody's wearing it now. It's just like they did something great, though. It's not to take any credibility away from uh, MFK. He did something fantastic. But at this point in time, in this portion of the fragrance uh, nation or journey, <laughs> I think it's pretty old news now. The MFK, all of them. I know I'm not something drops from them, and I, I'm honestly just not moved to even try it. That's how I feel about it, with all respect to all of your tastes. I mean, I'm sure some of you probably still are ecstatic about it. That's awesome. And you know, it's crazy because a lot of people get into this, this hobby at different times. And when people first get into it and they smell MFK, it's like the best thing in the world. So that's why you can't really discredit it or take it away from people. Because what my, you know, five years ago could be your yesterday. I got it from Mason de Arabia. Yeah, it's off of the site now. I don't know why. Sounds excellent. I'll give it a try. Shoot it up. Damn, even Unk's up in here. Yeah, Unk's a good guy, man. He's a good guy. We did a live. We did the live giveaway. Dude dude was being, he's super generous. Super generous. Longevity on, if you're talking about Portofino Noir, I got seven hours, six to seven hours. If you're talking about Hunter Killer, I got eight plus hours. Other than BR540, any frags from MFK that has dupes that you like the most? The Grand Soir, the best one is Amber Eve from Barricat. The Fragrance World, for sure. For sure. Uh, Yeah, like I said, brother, about five, I would say five to seven hours. But pretty impressive, man. Especially when you're comparing it to the OG, the EDT. Yeah, it's, it's right there with it. Can you wear it in the summer? The Hunter Killer? No. I mean, I do. But I don't care personally. I wear what I like. And uh, it depends on how many sprays as well. So yes, you can. But it's not going to be the best fragrance to wear in the summer. And that goes for both. Portofino Noir is a little bit lighter of a DNA. So you can get away with it a little bit easier than you would get away with the Hunter Killer. Neeb, you have a community tab on Infinity Rose by Latafa. I know it says men's. But does that lean very masculine? Absolutely not. What it leans is extremely natural smelling. It really smells like a rose. Like when you go and smell a, a rose, it's pretty feminine. It's pretty feminine. But in all honesty, from how natural it smells, it's unisex, leaning feminine. So uh, it has that rose. It has that patchouli. It's the closest dupe to Inicio's Atomic Rose. So if you go on Fragrantica or anything, Eye Perfumes or Profumo, and you see the reviews for Atomic Rose, that's exactly what you're going to get because it's really that close. It's 90 to 95% close. So if you read those reviews, 
go based off of that because that's what it smells like. It smells very natural smelling. It's pretty. It's a, it's a pretty fragrance. On some silver, it's a great dupe of wanted, uh, the most wanted. The opening has some fruits, and that's what's different about it versus the most wanted. That's why at first I thought it was wanted by night because of the fruit opening, the bergamot specifically. Um, wanted by night has the fruity opening. Want the most wanted does not. But this one, after the first 20 minutes, goes 95% the most wanted. It's excellent. Ensemble Silver is one of their best. It smells like a designer level quality fragrance. So I think that's a good one. Amerisomic Straight, awesome. A2 2010, very cute dog sketch. Can you wear? I wore it to the gym, Danielle. I wore it to the gym. And I don't know, like, I was getting attention and I could tell people like what I was sniffing. I was catching people trying to smell me legit with this fragrance. I don't really talk to anybody. When I go to the gym, it's like this. Like I, I work out like this. I'm like, just stay in my zone, stay in my lane. So they don't really talk to me. I don't really talk to anybody, but maybe if I did. Best brand perfumes. One of the most generous people I know with the super chat. God bless you, bro. And uh, I hope that, uh, you know, you see the same generosity on your business. Small shop, small business owners, we should all show him love and support, right? If he has something that's the same price as another website, personally, I would much rather go with a mom and pop shop, honestly. It's hard work. You know, they do what they can. And then also we have that coupon code. It's Aromatics10. If you spend $100, you get 10% off of your entire cart. So check them out, guys. If you're already going to buy it, what are you going to lose? You're going to save. If you're already going to buy it. Hey, Neeb, I just look up for cough, but it's not available in my country. Do you have any other alternative for Abercrombie & Fitch Fierce? Thanks, man. Nothing that's really worth it, in my opinion, or nothing that I really know of. Uh, there is Mont Blanc Legend Intense, but it's, I mean, yeah, Mont Blanc Legend Intense. That's another good one. For me personally, I couldn't do it. That metallic vibe, I just couldn't do it, but it is a close one. Mont Blanc Legend Intense. It's a silver bottle. Let me show you. These fragrances from Kossa are very strong, y'all. Very strong. I'm smelling it all over. That Luna is gorgeous, man. Ambery sugar, ambery burnt sugar is what it smells like in patchouli. Very nice. Here you go, Jay. This is it. Let me just confirm it really quick. It's very, very strong stuff, man. But a little too synthetic for me. They all are, but... Here you go, bro. Where is it? There it is. Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce. So, personally, I'd rather go with the original Mont Blanc just because of the quality. But appreciate you, appreciate you, Unc. What's up, Lindsay? <clears throat> I got on Far Amber de Orient from Uncle Chris. That's awesome, man. It's awesome. BR five forty still gets compliments for me too to this day. BR540, uh, Instant Crush, they get compliments to this day. About 90 to 95%, pretty damn close. Infinity Rose is top five in my collection. That's what's up, Johnny. I'm sure you would agree with the fact that it's pretty natural smelling. That stuff smells really good quality. For the price, it, it exceeds its price tag for sure. And as long as it stays that way, I think it's worthy. Once they start messing around and playing games, then yeah. Do you know what other kind of fragrances to layer with Dior Elixir? Honestly, I wouldn't really know unless I try, but I always try to layer Oud with everything. I got you. Anytime. Anytime. Saeed, where can we find Mason Alhambra the Tux? I think it's been sold out everywhere for a while. I don't think it's really available. It, are these guys insane? You guys, please look at this. Please. Okay, it's not even worth it at this point. This is sickening. This is sickening. $200? Seriously? $199. Yo, why sell tuxedo you can find for that much? What is what is crawled up their dingleberry holes? Seriously, look at this. $279. What, what are you on? 
Okay. Let me show you guys another alternative for this fragrance. Next runner up, that's honestly, I'm being real with you guys, that smells just like it, just not as strong, which is not the end of the world. It's really not. It's Kismet. Go for Kismet. It smells identical to the Tux, just not as strong. Here you go. Perfume box has it for $21.49. You won't be disappointed. If you don't like this fragrance, you will not like the Tux. This is about 90% close to the Tux. Oh, hear this tab instead. Here you go. Perfume box. $21.49. I have purchased from them once. And then we've got Amazon, $26.99. Don't, don't, don't you dare pay that price. Don't. <laughs> yeah, man, you ladies have been awesome support. Freaking love you guys, man. Awesome. Being a big fan of Elysium and having it, should I grab the O Intense? I haven't tried it yet. I haven't tried it, man. Um, I guess one of us will try it first and let the other know. All right, all right, all right. I think we're going to... Best Brand Perfume shipped it within 12 hours. Wow. Good guy. Ooh, July 10, looking for a sexy summer niche scent. Interesting. Okay. Um, hmm. I want to suggest, I think your taste is pretty unisex. I think you can rock a little bit more masculine treading, masculine treading fragrances, right? If I'm not mistaken, I would recommend for you, Danye. Danye by Argos. Argos fragrances. Pretty simple, but very different. Uh, it's a crystal type of vibe fragrance. Really, that's what it reminds me of, like a summer fragrance that if that crystal right there had a fragrance that's not metallic, it's not metallic, but if it was just fresh and opulent, that would be it. Danae. D-A-N-A-E. It's spelled like Dene, but it's pronounced Danae. Check it out. And actually, I have an affiliation link with them that uh, you can use, or it might be available right now. This is going to break their hearts, but it is what it is, baby. Hold on. Hold the phone. Don't use that link because it might be cheaper elsewhere until it's sold out. So for those of you watching this in the future, if it's sold out, sorry. It's going to suck when you watch this. Be like, damn, it was that cheap. <laughs> Been there, done that. Trust me. I know what it's like. It sucks. You guys, I bought Sultan by Royal Crown at 280 and about a couple, maybe a month and a half ago, it was for 30 bucks. Here you go, guys. Yeah. It made it there. Um, 30 ml is not going to, you're going to hate yourself for getting a 30 ml. 100 is only about $40 more. So 126 versus 80 and you get more than double. 36, you get triple and some, you get 3.2 for like $40 more. I think it's a smarter, it's a better value to go with the 100 ml. So hopefully that helps. And hopefully that is uh, to your liking. Philip, not really Philip. I don't really care too much for minty fragrances, honestly. The most minty I'll go is like, actually, Renaissance by Zerzhov, the only mint type of fragrances that are natural. I haven't tried Oud Lemon Mint yet. I haven't tried it yet, but I think that's another one I'm going to like. Zerzhov's Renaissance. Wow. It's lime, mint, sugary, beautiful, beautiful. That would be my number one as of today. On some silver, if I remember collect correctly, Five to seven hours. It was average, slightly above. Nothing more, nothing less. Best men's rose fragrance. Oh, dude. Best men's rose fragrance that you'll be surprised has rose, but actually, in fact, has the densest type of rose. Rose Absolute also is from Argos. Adonis Awakens. It's some pretty high dollar stuff, but you get what you pay for with that stuff. But Infinity Rose is a good option. It is. You might need to layer it, though. If you add some oud with it, it'll be a better option for you. 
Um, there's so many men's rose fragrances, bro. So many that I can't, can't just like populate off the top of my head. But, and I say that because there's a lot of Middle Eastern fragrances that utilize rose and oud. Yeah, isn't that crazy? You are crazy. Jay is Hawass. You, you guys, I, I really do practice what I preach. Hawass has been overpriced for the last like two, three years. I've yet to get it. That's the honest truth, man. That's the honest truth. Once it's back or practical, I'll pick it up. But personally, if you're asking me, I love Legend Spirit. It's just weak. It's just weak. So I'll probably have to spray like half the bottle per wear. <laughs> and Jazzy smells like a little bit, a little cheap smelling. But I mean, bro, it's like 15 bucks. So I can't stand the Jazzy. Ambergris. I would assume that the culprit is Ambergris or Ambroxan. Well, which is the same thing. Hmm. This is an interesting question. One that, believe it or not, is more difficult for me to answer than you would suspect because of how deep into Oud I am. I am about the lowest layer of Oud enthusiasts. So I like the the dirt of the dirt Oud. I really do. I really do. There isn't a Oud that's too much for me. So for me to peel back some of those layers mentally, um, would have to say something like Oud Wood, Versace Oud Noir. Versace Oud Noir. That's a good beginner fragrance of Oud. Very different, much more Western. It's dry, it's dusty, it's flaky, it's clean. It's not my thing because it's just not dirty enough. It's not authentic enough, in my opinion. But really it is, you know, it's just a clean Oud fragrance. Try that. I would agree, Wael. I would agree. Uh, Ombre Nomad has a lot of that saffron oud rose combination. It's unisex, but yeah, I would say that it does go a little bit towards uh, feminine. They already discontinued the tux. Whatever, dude. It's It was good, but it is what it is. I mean. I appreciate this comment. Thank you. <laughs> What's going on, Montrese? Good to see you, dude. Orhan asked a question, but I don't see it. I just see Privé. This is the only part I see for your question, brother. I have tried it. I didn't really care for it too much. It went a little too soapy. Literally, it smelled like soap in the dry down. I didn't like it. I really didn't like it at all. I ordered that Don't Ask Why from King's Gate. How well it performs, dude, nuclear. You don't want to spray that more than like four times. So strong. I shit you not, man. I had a little sample, 2ML. Uh, the owner, Andrew Foster, he's pretty generous. Um, he gives a lot of samples away. I sprayed that sample one time, and one of the nurses, she jumped on it. She was like, I need to buy this for my kids. She jumped on it. And dude, if you're ordering, I don't know if he has discount codes, but we have one. I have one for the channel. Uh, check it out in the description. I have so many coupons to you guys, but... Um, and they're there for you. Some of them I don't, a lot of them I don't, and some of them do help support the channel. But Kingsgate is one that I don't get any kick, kickbacks from. It's genuinely good. Most of the stuff that I'm never going to push anything that's not good, period. That's why I sell Y dupe for teenagers. Um, if you're on like the lowest, check out my YSL Y Clone War video. That's a good one to check out. Um, really, that Armaf Odyssey Mega is so damn good. That one's giving Sheikh Al Shiyukh, uh, what's it called? Final edition, a run for its money. Hey, what's up, Adam? <laughs> good to see you, bro. Happy early birthday, Danielle. Yes, I agree with this comment, Lydia. Hmm. Did a man Sarah have mint today? You know what? It might have. Yes, there was a man Sarah with mint today. Um, which one was it? Not Melody of the Sun. It was okay. It was it was Vetiver Sensual? Vetiver Sensual does have some mint. It's not. It doesn't really stick out like a sore thumb though. 
and it was pretty decent. Um, it kind of dried down similar to the standard, you know, Mandarin citrus vetivers. My opinion, one of the better ones. This is it, vetiver sensual mint. But for a mint fragrance that actually smells like mint, the best one, in my opinion, is Renaissance by Zerzhoff. This is what we sniffed today. Thanks for thanks for bringing that up. You got a good ass memory. Yes, there's quite a few new fragrance worlds they're uh, um, going to be releasing. They have an Ani dupe. They've got the entire Bulgari lineup. Those exclusive ones. We're going to be getting some heat. We're going to be getting some heat in today or not today soon. Hassan, what's happening, baby? Hass, what's happening, bro? Uh, Adram came in. And an almost clear translucent gold compared to yours, all gold. Can't see through. Is that normal? Interesting. I haven't seen that. Mine is pretty damn gold. Let's see. You get a carded sample with yours. You know what? Actually, mine is slightly see through. Mine is slightly see through. How does it smell ultimately? But for me, I think mine is slightly see-through. I wouldn't really call it spicy. I would call it, it has, the spices that's used in it is more of like a champagne quality. The spices that are used in it, it's, uh, it complements some of the notes to kind of give it like a carbonation feel. So it's not spicy in the oriental sense, but... Um, I think I do enjoy it more because I am more towards the Oriental vibes because there are some 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 woods that are commonly used in Oriental fragrances like that Mysore sandalwood and so it is quite peppery. Oh yeah, I definitely do, Joseph. Um, there is one clone. It's called Dusk by the Woods Collection. If I had that again, if I was able to do the Clone War again, which I I will. Possibly not do a Clone War, but a comparison of the top one. And I'll say that this was the winner. Dusk is probably number one now. Dusk is probably number one. For a couple of reasons, not just because of the scent, availability, price, longevity. I got a compliment on that one. It was explicitly, um, you smell exotic. It's like, okay. <laughs> oh, God. I can only imagine. Imagine they come out with Creed Aventus Elixir. I wonder what that would smell like. I haven't tried it yet. I have the Madawi, the, the original. I haven't tried it yet. But I'm going to be getting the gold edition. I'm going to be doing a uh, first impression together. First impression together. Thoughts on Arabian Oud Rosewood? It's okay. That's my thought on it, honestly. Uh, my sister has that fragrance. It's Rose and Oud. I'm going to be getting it just because it's a collection sake, but it's okay. It's not bad. Another one that I was interested in picking up because they have this at Joma shop was Centro. Centro, that freshy right there. So we'll see what that one smells like too. That's why I'm diving into uh, Gissa today because we need to really start getting into those fragrances behind me. I covered it because of the reflection really. Pegasus, our moths craze. Believe it or not, um, it lasts a hell of a long time. I personally don't care for it, but I don't care for Pegasus to begin with. But the dupe itself, it's a good dupe. Our moth craze. Um, it's hard to get them online. They're not going to be bringing them back to the website. No, they're not. I agree, Lonnie. The dirtier the oud, the better. Have you tried the Megamare clone? I'm not crazy about Megamare to begin with. Um... I'm going to try it, but it's hard, man. It's hard to say anything good about a fragrance DNA that you already know you don't like. And if people like it, why would I discourage them? You know what I mean? And I, yes, I am a fragrance reviewer, but I'd rather be, you know, reviewing stuff that I can review, really. Hell yeah, save that money. That's what it's all about. Use whatever code gets you the most. <laughs> Hustle. Hustlenomics. Um, all right, I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up, y'all. Sitting at about almost 1 a.m. Holy smokes. Haas, mine was exactly the same as yours. See-through gold came with a 20 ml tester. Yes, same. Let it settle for 20 minutes, and it smells like Neve said, Alurum Sport for sure. Yes, man. Yes, definitely is Alurum Sport. 
as in let it settle on your skin. Oh yeah, it does open up a little bit harsh, but still an amazing, when I compared them side by side, and that's exactly what it was. In the first 20 minutes, you get like a mix. There's a little bit more Tonka bean than the Lurum Sport, but it starts to dry down. I, I compared them side by side, you guys. <laughs> it was really good. Heard of any new Jeremy Fragrance Office clones? That's how you know you made it, y'all. It was funny because people were asking me, what would you do if they duped your fragrance? You know what I would do? I'd review them. I'd review them and I would be like, wow, they duped my fragrance, y'all. <laughs> and I'll tell you how close it is. That's what I would do. I would be honored. I mean, because at that point, what do you do? You either cry about it or laugh about it. I'm the type of person I'd rather laugh about it. I haven't heard of any dupes, though, for it, dude. Well, hello to you, too, Mr. Paul. How do you, no, I have not tried this one, bro. Clone of Suspiro Vibrato? Unfortunately, no. Uh-uh, I don't like saying this many no's. What's going on? Poseidon, your desire. Or Poseidon, dis Poseidon's desire, too. Yes, it is good. Poseidon's Madagascar Vanilla Chariot is even better. That's a... Hybrid from the Dua brand of Parfums de Marley Leighton and Creed Aventus. Even better, bro. Whew. Fire. Montaigne. Monta yes, I have. And Grandeur. They're both very good dupes, man. Just not as available. They're very good dupes. Tomorrow I'm going to be talking about one that's also a very good dupe that nobody really talks about either. It's this little bad boy right here. Where are you at? Adnan B by G Parlis. This is called Ambry Noir. Not much information out there. So if you want to do a little bit of research before I bring it in, check it out. This smells a lot like, um, or rumored to smell a lot like uh, Dior's Amber something and Tom Ford's Noir, the original, the black one. So we'll see. I picked that up thinking it was Noir Extreme. And then, yeah. I saw the differences or unfragrantica and I was like, damn, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It smells good. It threw me off. Yeah. It, mine is, is a little translucent. It's not completely see-through, but yes, it is. Good morning, Pega. Good to see you. I'm tugged in bed. Yeah, it is pretty damn late. Lindsay, I appreciate you. So you're, uh, you're looking out earlier when you uh, said you reiterated or you'd let people know that we were going to address them in the end. Appreciate that. Yes, it's good. Arlie, I just talked about it earlier. It's a good one. Terry. Love you, dude. Herba Pura. It's quite a few of them. I want to wait. I haven't really tested them all. I want to wait for the Clone War. All right, man. This is Black Panther is one of the best Tiger dupes. We need to do a Clone War. What's going on? It might be... I think it's time for a tiger. Tiger. Well, see, we got Fragrance World's tiger coming in soon. So I don't want to I don't want to do that yet. I want to wait for that one to come in first. What's going on, Sally? You caught us at the very tail end. Is that one better than the Alhambra one? A Loco Sick. Oh, I'm not sure. All right, y'all. Any good dupes for Ombre Nomad? Not off the top of my head, honestly. Um I tried the one from Zoha Aroma. It was a good one. It was a good one. The Jean, Jean Low was a good one too. The uh, Novio, I believe it was. It was a good one as well. I had a PDM and it's ripped off itch. I had to scratch. Hey, JD. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. Just try and push your next buy a couple more days. You got to discipline yourself for that one. All good, man. Yes, I 100% I, I have plans of doing both of these fragrances. You know what? I might as well start with Herba Pura because I don't think that I have any more um, dupe, dupes of Herba Pura. So I think I, I'm going to start with that one. Adam, I agree. I love you, man. <laughs> you see, I'm, I'm sinking lower and lower into my seat, dog. <laughs> Oh, what up, Justin? Good to see you, bro. You caught us at the end. And last question I'm going to take here. Does Herod smell like Spice Bomb Extreme? 
not quite. It's not as sweet. It's a lot more mature. It's more um, masculine. It's more serious. It's like a grown-up version of that, but it's really good. Thank you guys so much for watching. Tomorrow is Saturday. Do something with your family because life is short and we got to stay positive and we got to spend all the time we got with our families. You guys are my family. So before I fall asleep here on camera, 